Okay, there's a question about uh, motion blur and ray traced rendering. Okay, so let's let's work this out here. We're going to create a new composition by compressing Command or Control N. Go to the Advanced tab. Make sure we're going to start off in Classic 3D. Make sure everything is working. So there's our new composition. We're going to put solid in here. A nice blue color is just fine. I'm going to add a text layer right here in the middle. Uh, whoops. This is text. Okay. And I'll press the V key to get the direct selection tool back here. I'm going to position the text over here on the right side. Hold down the Alt Option key. Press P to set a keyframe. Move forward 10 frames. Sorry if I'm going too fast here. And then I'm going to just move the text. Hold the shift key to keep it in a straight line. Move the text to this side of the screen. In the middle, we will turn on motion blur and turn enable motion blur for the composition. There we go. We got good motion blur. All right, now let's add a camera. Mash down all the keys on the left side of the keyboard and press the C. Just, uh, I don't know. 28 millimeter camera, nice wide angle lens. Okay, it's warning me we don't have any 3D layers in here, but we'll fix that by pressing that. There you go. Now, uh, what about ray traced rendering? Well, that's pretty easy. We're going to go up here to the classic uh, renderer and change it to ray traced. Call that good, and there it is. It's a little blotchy because I've got the samples turned up. So uh, let's get the options here. Oh yeah, they're only at two. Let's turn the samples up to say five. Okay, there you go. Ray traced rendering motion blur. It should be that easy.